<laughs> Meat bicycle. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Community Day. Uh, sorry, Community Patch 2.0 farming here on Borderlands 2. This is the series where I take the latest Community Patch, uh, which is the second one that's been released, 2.0 and uh, farm all the uh, new stuff that's come with that um, little patch so um, before we start off as usual check the description if you want to get this community patch PC only I'm afraid but uh, you've got to uh, have the first patch uh, well you don't have to have the first patch installed you uh, get the first patch uh, do all the stuff uh, in that video which will be linked in the description and then uh, you can do the same with the second one just copy a little text file and uh, off we go so uh, yeah anyway so uh, we're like on, uh, we're on the fourth episode or maybe the fifth now of uh, farming and um, today we're going to be looking at number 70 on the list which is Mr. Bony Pants Guy now has a chance to drop the gulp um, so Mr. Bony Pants Guy is here in the unassuming docks in Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon's Keep. Um, so we're going to go farm him right now. And he should just be right at the end of here. Any minute now we're going to get... Yep, there we go. A little health bar up. He should jump right down. Is that him? No. That's him there. So, Mr. Bony Pants guy. Let's uh, farm you. I'll let my guns run out. But it shouldn't take us long to kill these guys. There you go. He's down. And hopefully we're going to get ourselves a gulp pretty quickly. So, there are the drops in question. Uh, nothing at all there. So uh, yeah, basically what we're going to do is just keep on farming this guy for about 10 minutes, 10-15 minutes. I'd probably say 10 minutes because it's such a short run. Others like, um, I don't know, Mad Mike that we had to farm and Prospector Zeke. We, uh, we farmed for a bit longer but that's because they were so far away. So uh, I want to get a good couple of runs in of this guy. Um, but we should be able to do it pretty quickly as you can see with our rocket jumping gun Zerka. We are pretty sweet on uh, actually getting this one, um, especially if we do that and that, we should get a bit more concert, but then again we're slowing ourselves down from rocket jumping, so I won't be doing that again. Um, but yeah, basically, uh, we're just going to keep going until we get this guy to actually drop. Uh, so it shouldn't take too long. He's not very tough, to be honest, especially against two North Fleets. He's just pretty damn quick. There we go. Come on, give us a gulp. No, that's not a gulp. That's a stupid grenade. Um, we should be able to, yeah, we should be able to easy get uh, maybe 10 runs into this guy. Maybe a little bit less, we'll see. Uh, but of course, as always, if I don't get it, I'll uh, continue to farm this guy until we do get it. Because no matter what, we are getting ourselves a gulp from Mr. Bony Pants Guy today. It's actually good that this guy um, now drops something with this new patch as well. Because uh, I'm pretty sure there's no reason to really come here after you've uh, you've done it the first time. So uh, this puts a little bit of life back into this level. I cannot remember the last time uh, I came onto this level. So uh, it definitely shows that uh, it does bring life back to certain levels that sometimes seem obsolete. Because uh, you don't need to come back here if there's nothing to farm nothing to do why would you come here just fast travel straight to flame or rock refuge or somewhere like that and then again even there's nothing to do in flame or rock refuge actually yeah, I suppose you've got a fast forward, uh, fast travel there to get to Merlin's temple if you want to farm the ogre or the magic missiles or anything else so uh, yeah I suppose we'll uh, we'll have that one but uh, there's not many real obsolete levels um, but this definitely is one of those obsolete levels until now because we can get the gub which to be fair is a not the most desirable of weapons to get but at least it's quick it's probably quicker is it quicker than going to Laney? I'm not sure it's certainly very quick Laney's not I think it's about the same actually Laney White in the fridge so you've got to wait for that door to open and then it's shorter distance but a few obstacles, rats running everywhere. This uh, seems just a bit easier actually. In fact you don't even need to go up onto this cliff, I can just come straight down through the water here. Get the old uh, feet wet. In fact yeah, I don't know why I've been sticking to land. Oh that's why there's rocks over there. Oh come on. Don't go near the rocks. Wow, I'm going to kill myself there. Very nice. 
Have we got anything? No, nope, just a couple of grenades again. Definitely likes dropping grenades, this guy. Seriously likes dropping the grenades. Uh, I've actually been testing, uh, not testing, uh, swatting up a little bit on uh, a future episode that I'm going to be doing, which is uh, Spider Pants. Uh, now has a chance to drop the uh, legendary Quasar um, or Quasar grenade, which is quite funny. That's going to take a lot of work, though, I think, because Spider Pants is a very rare spawn. Um, it's not seen him too often. Obviously, that's in, uh, is it, Mines of Avarice. Um, but. On the way to the Gold Golem, which is now a, uh, a farm as well from this new community patch, you come across that guy. So it might be worth farming the Gold Golem first. And if we come across Mr. Uh, sorry, Spider Pants, we can actually uh, farm him then. So that's uh, pretty handy as well. So definitely going to go for the uh, the Gold Golem first. I don't know, he's seriously tough though, I don't think I'm going to be able to use the uh, the rocket jumping gun Zerka setup for that, that's definitely going to have to be a long ass run with the um, the uh, Grog and Harold gun Zerka. I think he'll tank uh, the gold golem pretty nicely. Come on down then. Don't be shy. Just be generous. Give us a nice drop. Want to see orange soon? You git. <laughs> is that his head? It is his head. Or his, uh, his armour or whatever. Right. Let's go. So, seven minutes in. Wow, we've got quite a few, uh, got quite a few runs in so far then. I reckon we can get three more runs in at least. Don't want to overdo it too much. These are only meant to be uh, quite short episodes. So, let's keep going. Why am I swaying over to land again? Just run straight across the water, you idiot. So much quicker. Right, one more jump, and then... Fire! Fire! That was really bad, actually. And he still hasn't jumped down till now. Well, he's dead. So who cares? Oh, come on, guy. Can't be long. How many runs are you going to take? You watch, this will be the longest farm we have on the whole series. Um, where are we going to go next? So much left to do. Jackenstein, Arizona, Badassosaurus Rex. So many new things to farm, I love it. Right, don't go that way, idiot. Go straight across the water. Right, lock onto there and keep that path. Just sway around these rocks here, because that's where I keep getting stuck. See? Stuck on absolutely nothing right there. Oh, he's nearly down. I should be able to two-shot this guy. Come on. There we go. We'll try next time. Because there will be a next time. Don't want that crappy grenade. Well, it's not crappy. I'm just being snobby. Orange is only for me. Okay. Two more runs, I think, is realistic. Get it bang on the uh, close to the 10 minute mark as possible. All right, I'm going to really swing around this way so I don't get stuck on anything. I'm about to be told off though for uh, going out of bounds, so we'll uh, not go too far to the other side. Yeah, he's definitely tank shots a lot more when he's up there. Down he goes. Still, well, at least we've got weapons this time, but still no orange. I like it, I want it. Do you know what? I think we can get two more runs in. Screw it. We're just coming up on nine minutes now. I think if we're quick, I'll, uh, I'll allow two more runs. Why not? I really, really want to get this drop on camera. Live recording. It's better. It saves me having to do voiceovers and crap. Right. Swing to the right slightly, getting told off one flash there from uh, them blooming things that shoot you. Right, you coming down? Good lad. Oh, so close to dying. Oh, I got launched then. Hey, we don't need two more runs. Woo! Right on the mark as well. 20 seconds from the end. We have got ourselves a gulp. 
So like I said, this normally drops from Laney White, but now in the uh, in the DLCs you can get yourselves a gub from Mr. Bony Pants Guy. And it only takes about 10 minutes proven. So let's go ahead and pick it up. Is there anything that we can uh, test this on? An ultimate badass skeleton. That is not what I was thinking of. Holy crap, them guys are tanks. Ow. I don't want to go and zerk. Come on, let's get this guy. Thank you. Where are you? Don't be an ultimate badass. Damn skeleton, here we go. Wow, it's doing quite a lot of damage, actually. Die. See, the gub is not as useless as you think it is. Ow. But whatever's just killed me is a git. Master Skeleton Archer. Yeah, they can take a bit more damage, can't they? I wonder what it's like if it's got slag. Let's get a magic missile on. Oh god, don't kill me. There we go then. Let's see how tough you are now. Where are you? You're there. Yes. Chipping away. Let's see if we can get a headshot on you. Ow. Don't give up, 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 don't give up. Oh, slag's worn off. So close. Oh, and I've got to reload. Ah, oh, damn it. Well, there you go. Anyway, that is um, another episode of Community Patch Farming done. Successful. Ten minutes farming has got us the gub from Mr. Pony Pants guy. Pony Pants, I mean Bony Pants. So, uh, yeah, there you go, guys. That is another episode done. Uh, let's quickly switch the gob out so uh, I'm ready for my next episode. Um, what do we do for the next episode, I wonder? Let's go and have a quick look. Um, go Golem. Might be the Gold Golem, you know. <sighs> oh, Hurl. I might go for Hurl, actually. He's got the chance to drop the Orphan Maker. So, uh, we might go for for Earl for sure. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.